Hello everybody, it's Helena, and in today's video we are building this cozy little pub and community garden that I built in the world of Hanford and Bagley in The Sims 4, obviously. So this is a community lot, which is not something I do very often. In fact, I'm pretty sure that this is the first ever speed build that I've posted of a community lot. So that's pretty exciting, but that also means I was feeling quite like far out of my comfort zone when I built this and I was not really like sure about what I wanted to do with this lot but with that being said I do really like the way that it ended up looking and I just I think it's very cozy I think it's very cute and I really like the outcome of it and the way that it ended up being yeah <laughs> I think it's really cute and it just like looks the way that I wanted it to look in my head before I started building it so I'm very satisfied with the end result of this build and I hope you all like it as well so this is like technically a bar lot like that is the lot type that I chose for this lot because as I said I did want to build a pub and then also a community garden I wanted to have like two things in one I suppose but yeah I wanted to build a pub because I just I feel like that's kind of cute so I added like a bar and since I made the lot type a bar it means that a bartender will like show up automatically to this lot and they will make some drinks for your sims and for the other townies so you don't have to like actually hide you're a bartender yourself and you don't have to pay the I think like a hundred simoleons to like get a bartender here because they just show up automatically and that's really cool and fun but then on the outside I guess like in the you know yard or something I put a bunch of harvestable plants and I put a lot of trees especially because I initially thought that I just wanted to have trees on the lot but then when I was like done putting down all of the harvestable trees I thought that I was like missing something and then I figured that I would just add Add some little bushes and like small plants that you can harvest things from I guess so that is what I ended up doing and I definitely put a lot of plants on this lot and I think most of them are of a perfect quality which is pretty convenient for you guys if you want to go to this lot and like harvest some things for your sims to make some dinner with they are all perfect quality or almost all I think I don't remember exactly if they all are but I'm pretty sure that most are <laughs> so that's convenient I guess but yeah I don't know I think it's really really cute and I really Really like this lot and I hope you all like it as well but yeah this is not a residential lot which is really really unusual for me and I definitely felt pretty far out of my comfort zone when I was making it and it was kind of odd but I did also really enjoy it so please do let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to make more community lots or if you think I should just stick to making primarily residential lots because I am very curious to know how you all feel about it so yeah please do let me know in the comment section but yeah I I really did enjoy it and I, I had a great time building this one and I'm fairly satisfied with the end result so I'm happy about that but I did build it in Hanford and Bagley as I did say and as you probably can see and this world is you know British inspired so I wanted to make a pub just because I feel like that's such a British thing and I must admit I don't really know much about like pubs but from what I've heard from just like British people talking about them and just telling little stories and whatnot I think that pubs are basically just like bar ish places that families also sometimes go to and they just like hang out there and have dinner and stuff like that. Like I think it's a bar but like not really a bar bar. It's more of like a restaurant slash bar maybe i don't know i'm not really sure but when i've heard people talking about pubs and whatnot i've just like pictured in my mind a very family friendly place that also served alcohol and had a bar and like some drunk people would be there but it would be like kind of a you know cozy and fun place at the same time you know <laughs> i don't really know i just i feel like this lot is a pub in my mind but it might not be like an actual traditional pub like in britain in in real life i guess i don't really know but this is just what it looks like in in my head so that's what i built and it's it's a pub okay <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so the reason why I actually wanted to make a community lot and more specifically like this lot today in this video is because a few weeks ago, I guess I sort of like challenged myself in a way to not make any more family houses before the new Growing Together expansion pack that comes out in a few days. I didn't want to make any more family houses before that one came out because it felt a little bit silly to me that it was right around the corner and then I was like sitting here making 
family houses and whatnot and I just I wanted to not be doing that as much so I told myself that I did not want to make any more of them before we got the pack or at least the new update for the infants so yeah I haven't done that and then I figured that since I don't really do community lots ever I would try to challenge myself to do one this week where I'm just waiting for the new pack to come out so that is what I'm doing today and I just like have been wanting to do some like restaurant ish cafe bar something like that a lot <laughs> and that's what I'm doing today I guess and I just also really really like to have a space like in my personal gameplay where I have a bunch of plants that my sims can come and harvest because it can be a little bit like annoying and difficult to have to go searching for like these specific plants that you want to get because for obvious reasons you can't just find every type of plant in every world like that would not make any sense but now if you want to go get cherries and you can't find them in like oasis springs because you know <laughs> cherries don't grow in the desert but yeah if you want to find cherries you don't have to go looking for them in every single world you can just go and harvest them on this lot because i i grew some on this lot which is really cool and fancy i guess <laughs> i mean obviously there is the problem of like seasons if you have the seasons pack you could risk that if you want to get cherries they aren't in season when you want them like maybe you want them in the fall or something and they only grow in the summer i don't remember when cherries grow in in the sims but i think it's something like that they only grow in summer probably <laughs> i don't know and then you'll have to wait until summer to go and get them but at least you know where you can get the cherries but one thing that's really really cool is that on the website carl's sims 4 guide i think that's what it's called he has this really cool chart of where you can find which plants and whatnot and it's really cool and detailed and you can see like exactly where on the map in every world you can find like these specific plants and that's really really useful if you have some specific plant that you want to track down and you just cannot seem to find it it's really cool very useful and i highly recommend that i feel like i've used that one in the past quite a lot <laughs> but sometimes it can just be quite a hassle to have to find a lot of specific plants out in the world and it's nice to just have them in one space where you can just come and like harvest them and then move on with your day i guess i don't really know and you can do that on this lot if you want to i guess i feel like that was a very very complicated way of saying that i just put a bunch of different plants on this lot that you can harvest i just went on for like minutes talking about that one specific thing that's so stupid anyway yeah <laughs> basically i just wanted to have like a cute little fun and cozy community garden that you can go to and harvest things from and just hang out in and then on the outside of this lot like also in the yard i did also put a bunch of little dining tables because obviously i was thinking that this like pub is also a place where families go and just have dinner or lunch or something like that so i put a bunch of tables outside and then also some on the inside so you can have dinner or just another meal here and i think that's really cute and i put some out in just like the open so if the weather is nice you can sit out there but there's also a covered porch because i for one really like covered porches i hate the sun so i really don't want to like sit out in the open when the sky is not cloudy because it makes my eyes hurt so bad to get the sun in them and i hate the sun so much so personally when i go you know eating at restaurants and stuff and i have to sit outside i always choose to sit in the shadow because i just hate the sun <laughs> so yeah i would definitely sit in the covered porch although there is like a glass roof so you might risk getting the sun in your eyes sometimes but at least there are like some little seats i guess where you can you know find some shade and people like me can sit there without being bothered by the sun and also the covered porch is really handy if it's raining outside and this world is inspired by the uk so i imagine that it rains quite a lot in henford on backling so yeah that why did i say it like that like henford on backling <laughs> I don't know, I think I tried to like laugh at the same time as I said Hanford on Bagley and then it sounded really weird. I'm sorry about that. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah it's what was i saying i don't know but it's handy to have a covered porch and then i think on the inside i only put two tables because that was all i could fit on the first floor of this build because like there are two rooms on the first floor of this build there is the one with the bar where i could only fit like a bar and then some bar stools because it's kind of small and then in the first room like the one before you get to the bar there are just like some little 
tables and I'm pretty sure that I put two or maybe maybe three I don't know two or three not a lot though and then there's also a second floor where I put like just some hangout the cozy fun thing activity <laughs> I put a ping pong table so you can play some ping pong with your friends and whatnot or strangers i guess i don't really know and then i put a tv with some couches and i put like a stereo i think so you can just hang out at this place and i did also put bathrooms just by the way i did i did put bathrooms so you can pee here if if need be i guess but yeah i think this lot is really cute and i think it's so cozy and i definitely would consider playing in it if i ever i don't know feel like that's something that's relevant to me in my own gameplay i guess i don't know <laughs> It's a cute lot and it works. I did play test it, obviously. I always play test my builds and also the plants kind of like went a little bit bad when I was play testing, so I did have to water them. So when slash if I suppose you download this lot, you will have some well watered plants that are probably maybe <laughs> ready to be harvested. I don't really know if they're in season, of course. But yeah, I don't know. I think this lot is really cute and I really like it. It's very like cutesy and pinkish on the outside, especially, and I just I think that's really cute but i don't really know if that's super realistic i doubt that the majority of real life pubs are super cutesy and whatnot i feel like they're not i don't know that's just the image that i have in my head but this one is very cutesy on the outside and i think that's really fun and i really enjoyed making it and i, I really like the outcome so yeah let me know if you want me to make more community lots on my channel and just I don't know in general i guess <laughs> well i will be posting them on my channel if i make them because i just i like to post speed builds obviously yeah i feel like that's a given right but yeah let me know if you want to see some more community lots from me and if so let me know which type of lots that you want to see because i am open to suggestions i would love to know what you would like to see on this channel but yeah in a few days the new pack growing together will be coming out which i'm obviously super excited about and the infant update will be out tomorrow which is also just like super super exciting i definitely feel like i'm more excited about the infants than i am for the new growing together expansion pack although i'm very excited about both things but i just feel like the infants are just gonna be really really fun to play with or at least i hope they are but yeah i'm really excited to see what they are all about and whatnot so yeah i cannot wait for tomorrow when i get to play with them but yeah this is gonna be my last video Video before the new pack comes out and then I will be posting some videos with that new pack and I'm very excited about that and I'm excited to see what I can do with that pack. I'm definitely going to be making a bunch of family houses which I love so yay I'm definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> so yeah I don't know I let me know if you are excited about the new pack and the update and whatnot as well or if you are like going to be getting the new pack or if you're not and all of that stuff because I'm just very curious to know how you guys are feeling about everything that's happening with the game at the moment because i don't know i'm curious <laughs> But yeah, anyway, this build has nothing to do with the new update and the new pack, of course. Like, I feel like it's not relevant at all to that. But I guess maybe if you, in a few days when we have the new update, are getting kind of sick of your infants and they're just like a little bit too much to deal with, you can go to this pub and you can just leave them with the babysitter for a few hours and you can sit here, have a drink, maybe harvest some cherries and some apples, and then you can go home and feel, I guess, refreshed and be with your infant again. And you've had a few hours to cool down and just have a break talk to some adults i guess i don't know <laughs> that's a thing you can do with this lot and the new infant update if you needed a suggestion or something i don't think you did but yeah there's one i guess <laughs> anyway i don't really have a story that i can tell you in this speed build i mean like i have a, a story that i really really want to tell you all but i'm gonna need to like reserve that story for a way longer speed build because for one we only have a few minutes left of this one so i can't be telling you a very long story story right now definitely not but also it's a pretty pretty long story so i'm definitely going to be saving it for like a family house or something but yeah i really want to tell that story because it's going to be it, it's a fun one okay it's really it's it's really weird okay but yeah i want to tell that story i just i can't do that today but a little bit earlier on in this video i said that i hate the sun which i think i just want to elaborate on a little bit <laughs> because i really i really hate the sun i think it's so stupid and i absolutely cannot stand to like walk in the sun or 
or sit in the sun or just like be anywhere near the sun. I feel like I'm kind of a vampire or something like that. But whenever I'm out like walking with my family or out with other people or something, they always want to be in the sun. Like if we're outside, they want to sit in the sun, but I just, I cannot sit there. It like hurts my eyes so much and I feel like my skin is just like burning when I'm in the sun and I, I can't stand it. I, I hate the sun so much. So I always want to like walk in the shade and whenever like the sun is on one side of the road I always to try to cross the road so I can be in the side that is not sunny because I just cannot stand the sun and I feel like my eyes are just like kind of sensitive and they always have been but last year I had LASIK surgery which is an, a surgery that you get on your eyes to like correct your vision and it can like kind of make your eyes a little bit more sensitive to light and when I got it done the people at the clinic told me that I would have to wear sunglasses outside in the sun for the next like six months because my eyes were gonna be like pretty sensitive to the sun and they definitely were like a few days after my surgery I went driving and I was like in the car I had sunglasses on but my eyes hurt so much and it was just it was horrible <laughs> yeah I don't know but that was like right after surgery so they were extra extra sensitive but yeah my eyes were super sensitive in the following few months after my surgery but it's been I think 13 14 ish months since I had it now and I feel like my eyes were just still extremely sensitive but I think that it's because now I'm just like more focused on it I guess and I just noticed that I'm like I don't know very sensitive towards the sun but I think I always have been more sensitive to it than other people have because I just I always have like wanted to be in the shade and away from the sun because I just I hate it so much and I've always just been a bit of a vampire I guess <laughs> so yeah anyway let me know if you agree if you're also like a very pale pasty weird person who hates the sun and is kind of like vampiric in a way yeah because i am <laughs> i don't know i'm very pale i definitely look like a person who does not see the sun ever i literally have the skin tone of the wall next to me and the the wall next to me is white so that's what i look like yay and to be completely honest i just i fully believe that the world would be a far better place if the sun did not exist and i know you think i'm stupid right now because like obviously we need the sun it is necessary for all life nothing would exist if we did not have the sun but you know what i don't care i think the sun is stupid and it would just be way better if we did not have it and i just i will die on that hill because i hate the sun <laughs> yeah anyway so that's how i feel about that i guess but this video is getting closer to the end which i think is a very good thing because i am <laughs> rambling about literally nothing and also i have to go make dinner now so thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and you enjoy my content i would really really appreciate it but you know you don't have to but besides all of that i hope you're having an amazing amazing day and then i cannot wait to see you all in my next video that I will be posting in just a few days. My voice is giving up on me. <laughs> but yeah, bye!